So this MPG loop has turned into really a test of um, bad weather performance. Yeah, but this is real world testing. So by the time we get to our next point where we fill up, we'll have had an opportunity to go uphill on some major climbs, towing a fairly substantial weight. Yes. In this video, we're going to find out how well the brand new 2019 Ram Rebel tows about 7,000 pounds, long distance, we're going to find out MPGs, potentially snowy driving, but what are we towing? We're going to tow, well, of all things, the gigantic 1987 Suzuki Samurai, which weighs 2,030 pounds about. And we're going from Moabuta, where you guys just wrapped up with Tommy and Roman and you an off-road video, but we need to get the Suzuki back to Denver. That is correct. It's too slow on the highway. Let's go. Anytime. It's jerky time. <laughs> Paisleys.com, Paisleys beef jerky, grass-fed. That's right. We're here in Utah. Heck yeah, they're based right here in Utah. Here we go. Big wow, piece. that's a manly piece. Yeah, it is. But this is what we do. We drive and we eat jerky, man. Heck yeah, I cannot think of a better partnership than this. Check them out using the link below, pieces.com. It was just several weeks ago that we drove this exact same Ram Rebel from Colorado to Moab, Utah using the same route. We compared it against the Chevy Trail Boss and the new Ford Raptor. And we were disappointed by the MPG we got with an empty truck. We got about 18 MPG and we expected about 22. So now we need to see what happens with the MPG when we get the truck loaded. I think you're lined up well. A little bit more. And stop. So Ram trucks come with a choice of fuel tanks. Yep. Unfortunately, this truck has the smallest. Oh yeah? How big? 23 gallons. Oh, that is small. It's not great for towing, but what are you gonna do? All right. Okay. Let's take a look at the vital signs. So far, so good. Let's reset the trip meter really fast. And patow. let's go, dude. Tow hole mode enabled. Yep. Two wheel drive. Yep. I'm gonna set cruise control at the speed limit, which is, I believe, here is 70, but I'll adjust it to whatever the speed limit is. So we're gonna maintain like just the speed limit through the through the mountains. What? It says there's an avalanche warning. Oh, terrific! An avalanche warning in effect for Grand County. Something, something, something. That's what let's, that is. let's look. Oh boy, uh, we're approaching a major weather front. If the highway is covered by an avalanche, even the mighty Rebel might not make it through it that. This is a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that puts out 395 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque. It's hooked up to an 8 speed automatic transmission. This particular truck is four wheel drive and it's also an e torque. So it has a little bit of extra help off the line. I don't think that's going to help us very much with towing. Every time I'm here, I cannot believe how gorgeous this country is. Moab, it doesn't matter what weather it's having, rain or shine, snow, desert-like conditions, whatever it might be, it's just beautiful. Why the Ram Rebel? Well, the Rebel, this one, is our long-term test truck. Yeah. But besides that, the Ram Rebel is rated to tow up to 11,190 pounds. If you wanted to tow with a half-ton Ram truck, this is probably not the truck you should choose. You should go for another one, maybe a Bighorn, uh, maybe something set up with different tires, right? Right. But. For a truck that can do a little bit of everything, including off-road, this is a real good truck with a great tow rating. If you 
consider the trucks this Rebel competes against? Yeah. Like the Trail Boss, the Pro 4X, maybe the FX4 Ford, uh, maybe the uh, TRD Pro. Uh -huh. This has a higher tow rating than all those, you know, except for the Ford. This has one of the highest tow ratings. Oh, okay. Watch as the mighty Suzuki rides the humble Ram Rebel as they slowly take their day at a scale. First way or your way? First way. Okay, I'm going to drive off and come on in. Alright, thank you. What's the total weight of everything? 12,980 pounds. Okay, uh, the truck itself weighs 5,600 pounds. Okay. This particular one. So minus 5,600 pounds, minus the trailer weighs around 5,000 pounds. Uh -huh. Voila, the Suzuki weighs 2,380 pounds, which means we're towing approximately 7,400 pounds, trailer and Suzuki. Yeah, that's about right. Vale or approaching Vale. Yep. And um, I had to switch to four-wheel drive. I had to slow down my take down my speed just now because we're basically driving on ice. No matter how good your tire is, sometimes it just doesn't matter. You have to be very cautious and slow. Um, my gain is set at five and a half right now, and I'm ready to grab my manual override in case you know the trailer tries to pass me. <laughs> Yeah, I hope not. The good news is, at least so far on this trip, the trailer has been rock solid stable. So this MPG loop has turned into really a test of um, bad weather performance. Yeah, but this is real world testing, so by the time we get to our next point where we fill up, we'll have had an opportunity to go uphill on some major climbs, towing a fairly substantial weight. Yes. Okay, all the semi-trucks are putting their chains on. Mm -hmm. We are in maximum traction mode two, four-wheel <laughs> drive. Where traction's been fine. We've been doing really good. I think the added weight with the heavy tongue of uh, the trailer is a good Yeah, thing. it's helping us a lot for good traction. So let's see if we can make it over. Okay, the easy part is over. <laughs> easy. Uh, we reached the summit of Vale. Yep. And I'm gonna use uh, my gear selector. So I, on the steering wheel here, which is not the best place. You know, I wish there was like a shift lever or some sort of w other way to m control the gears. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna control my gears and use my engine braking on the way down. Yep. And we're just gonna take it nice and easy and mellow. We went 170.3 miles, 10 mpg exactly according to the computer. Let's see what the pump says. What? On the downhill I used the gears, we were safe, the truck was really comfortable actually. Suspension was awesome, traction was great, I didn't want to lock up the trailer brakes, that's why I was using my gearing, going slowly. Everything was safe, nice. Now we can get our MPG and see how we do. Okay, so we went 170.3 miles. We're gonna divide it by the gallons we've used here at the pump. And we're using a double fill, uh, double fill method, letting the fuel settle and topping off. Look at it pump. Okay, so check this out, 
14.91 gallons. That's looking pretty good. Remember, this is 14.91. 11.4. Dude, that's better than the computers. The computer said 10. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. The truck did really well with a 7,400 pound trailer crossing mountains and driving in the snow. Go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world snowy MPG road trip towing reviews. See ya!